So there's a big kind of problem in the monsterverse going on that both Godzilla and Kong quote unquote fans are glazers and toxic. And the problem is fans are just normal people that, you know, enjoy the monster, have their biases, but they can put him aside and admit when something happened. Uh, it seems like that's more of a problem with the Kong fans. It's just Godzilla fans are more aggressive, so they get more hate for it. But whatever. Um, yeah, it's like a, a Glazer is somebody that can't admit when they're wrong. They have to be right no matter what, even if you're actively showing them proof that they're wrong. And a fan is somebody that knows when they're wrong, doesn't try to argue that they're not wrong simply because they can't admit that their favorite character didn't do something that they didn't do. And a big example of this is, like I said earlier, Kong knocking out Godzilla and that he was holding back during that. Now, it is confirmed that Kong, and by, with Adam's words, got angry and took it too far. You know, I'm kind of paraphrasing. He doesn't say exactly that, but, you know. And also that it's literally stated that Kong only stunned Godzilla. But they ignore these, call you a fanboy, or try to use other statements from other people who are below the director, who don't control the canon as much as the director, or simply lie, saying that, oh, the comic says that, you know... Godzilla was knocked out or that Kong was holding back when it doesn't say any of that. And if you would like the statements that I said earlier, here they are. Now he's he he's he's trying to get Godzilla to just do something, but right here he kind of lost his temper and so, you know, he got a little carried away. <laughs> Wars furiously as he stuns Godzilla with his flurry of punches. So they'll see these statements and just say that Adam is a Godzilla glazer, so of course he's going to say that. Even though Godzilla vs. Kong and Godzilla x Kong were both Kong movies with Godzilla pretty much being a cameo, especially in Godzilla x Kong. He had less screen time in that movie than he did in Godzilla 2014, which I think is crazy. Um, and they'll just blatantly, but they'll also use statements where he is on Kong's side, saying that he was holding back at the start of the fight, to say that he was holding back the entire time. So they really just cherry pick what statements they use, only really using the ones that help their argument, while if they said something else about the other character, they're just, well, yeah, they're a, he's a Godzilla fan, of course he's going to glaze Godzilla. But then they'll take everything he says about Kong and then over-exaggerate it. I think that's just kind of stupid. <laughs> I think you need to grow a pair of balls and realize... No, your character isn't the strongest of all time. Currently, Kong is at five. Uh, if you think that Rodan is above him or Mothra, that's just a personal issue, to be honest. Um, we can debate it. I've got my Discord and stuff everywhere, so you, it'll be pretty easy to find. Hopefully, I remember to put it in the description or some shit like that. But anyway, I just want freaking glazer is to just go away that's that's the problem with the monsterverse it's a whole bunch of toxic idiots and glazers now before godzilla versus kong it was all chill people were chillaxed bro but and then both the egos of dumbass godzilla and kong fans started to mix since they did fight and ever since like people are still arguing about stuff that happened in godzilla versus kong even though we've already agreed to everything that's happened, but people just like to bring up different stuff and make shit up so that their point is right. Like, people are still arguing that Godzilla just got up right after the axe hit when the movie shows otherwise. Kong is a good distance away from him, so he was at least knocked out for at least a minute. And... You know, it's just one of those things to where you need to admit when you're wrong. I'm able to admit when I'm wrong. I've been proven wrong and went, oh shit, that's my fault. I used to think Kong beat or Rodan beat Kong. And then if you actually look at the feats of Rodan, they're not that impressive. And if you actually look at the feats of Mothra, they're not that impressive. 
And this is not GXK Mothra, King of the Monsters Mothra. GXK Mothra is kind of a mixed bag. Uh, it's just one of those things that I wish fans would just be fans again. You know, it's impossible to go anywhere and just discuss stuff because no matter what you try to discuss, one of the toxic fans are going to come in and make it all about them and all about their character. When the point is to be discussing about the whole monster verse, not just Kong or not just Godzilla or not just freaking Tiamat. Like, just have a normal conversation, bro. It ain't that hard, pussy boy. <laughs>